Good morning to everybody, another beautiful gorgeous day. We live in one of the most greatest, greatest time. Baruch Hashem, it's so easy to find kosher food. It's so easy to get a pair of tefillin. It's always easy, much easier became to keep Shabbat because anywhere you turn there's a religious community. No matter where you travel through the world, you always find Chabad or you find some kind of Jewish communities, Minyanim, Kashrut, Mikvahs, all over. It's great. We never had such an easy, easy Galut. But the greatest problem is anybody you speak to, anybody you say hello to, or anybody you ask, how are you? Everybody tells you, oh, I'm stressed, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. We live in times massive overthinking. We wake up in the morning, we start thinking a lot. We go to sleep, we worry a lot. We eat, we think. We take a shower, we worry. Anything we do, we just constantly thinking, worrying, thinking, worrying. In the morning we wake up, we worry about through how we're going to go through the day. At night we go to sleep, we worry to make sure if I hope I wake up on time. Today we worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow we start worrying about next day. When you're in school, you worry about, you know, the future I'm going to get to college. What's going to be? When you get into college, then you worry about your career. When you get a career, the worry never ends. Because we get used to it. We become like robots, zombies. We live in times of zombies. People are zombies. Sometimes you pass by in the street. People didn't realize, didn't recognize, didn't realize or didn't recognize you. People forget to say hello. There's so much loss in their thinking. Rabotai. Question, my question is very simple. We all have problems, we all have issues. And it's not like we're the only generation that have problems. They had Adam Arishon had problems, Noah had problems, Yosef Atzadik, Moshe Rabbeinu, everybody had problems. But the difference between us and them, by them they had problems, they understood that Hashem is the salvation, Hashem is the light, Hashem is going to solve their problems. By us, we always think like, you know what, I have to solve it myself, you know, because Hashem is busy, we think, Hashem has other things to take care of, He's going to be involved in my problem. We think that we're the salvation, we're the, we know how to solve our own problems. The answer is, if you look at the book of Tehillim, Psalms, chapter 27, the beginning of the chapter 27 of Psalms, it says, David HaMelech says, Hashem Ori, Hashem is my light, and Hashem is the salvation. He's going to solve your problems. He's the light. He's our li light. And He's going to solve our problems. Mimi Ira, what are you afraid of? What are you scared of? Why are you missing sleep? Why are you losing out from other serving enjoyments of serving Hashem? We're thinking about, oh, I have a problem. We all have a problem. But the problem is big as we make it into big S. Sometimes it's probably could be just a small dot, but in our mind it's like a whole universe. Expands the whole world. Rabotai, we all have problems. If you have a problem, is there a solution for it? No. If there's no solution to it, no. So why are you worried? There's no solution. Why are you worried? Why you can't sleep? Why you can't eat? Why you can't live life? There's, if you just answer your question, you have a solution for your problem? No. So why are you worried? If you have a solution for the problem, so again, why are you worried? Either way, we all have problems. Is there a solution? Why worry? There is no solution. Why worry? Remember the Pasuk and Tehillim. David HaMelech said, Hashem, Ori, Hashem is my light. Hashem, the salvation. He's going to solve it. Mimi, Ira, what are you afraid of? Who are we afraid of? Rabotai, Hashem is our light. We are, each one is spark of Hashem. Each, our, each one of our souls is a spark of Hashem. It's also light. Light, Hashem is a light. Light attracts light. But if we fill ourselves with a worry, anxiety, panic attack, thinking about tomorrow, about next week, about next month, about next year, about in 20 years, we're filling ourselves with the darkness. There is no space for Hashem's light. Make some space for Hashem's light. If we're only constantly thinking, worrying, being scared and afraid, and living in a panic, and being on medication, or substance abuse, you're not letting light come in to Hashem. A light of Hashem come inside of you. That's the whole idea. We pray. What is the idea of pray? We pray. We allow the light of Hashem come inside of us. We make a bracha through the day on the food. Allow the light of Hashem to come inside of you. Not allowing the fear, anxiety, panic come inside of you. You have so much space inside that we're invite, inviting the darkness. Light of Hashem. Constantly walk through the day praising Hashem, thanking Hashem, being help, happy. Accepting, allowing the light. It's like when you hug your child, 
Do you feel worried? Do you have anxiety? Do you think about tomorrow's problems? Are you worried about your bills? When you're hugging your child, you forget the whole world doesn't exist. You're having such a great time. This is the light. That's called the light of Hashem. You just, the light of Hashem is coming inside of you. Hugging a child. You're having a great time. That's how you have to feel the love of Hashem through the whole entire day. Not hugging your problems. Not get lost in our problems. We get so much lost in our problems, we don't realize how far we've gone. So Rabotai, next time we worry, remind yourself the Pasuk of Tilim, what David Amalek said, Hashem is my light and He's the salvation. Why? Well, there's nothing to be afraid of, nothing to fear. Everybody should have a great day.